Um, okay. So, so my direct competition with the driverless cars, uh, oh, Waymo. Oh, Jesus. Waymo wait, wait, wait. Waymo food. is your direct competition? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm about to kill Waymo. Waymo is ass, bro. I know. Mine ain't ass. Yeah, what well, Waymo is is super ass. It costs twice as much as an Uber or Lyft, and it takes twice as long for you to get to your destination because they don't take the highway. Yeah, see, they put two twices in there. Mine just takes twice as long, but I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> but it costs the same amount. Yeah, yeah, costs the same okay. amount. Okay, twice so you as can long. pay the same amount of money that you would pay for an Uber, except. It takes twice as long for you to get there, but there's no driver. Now, yeah. if you if that's how you sold it to me, I, I would be like, I, I like your service. Yeah. So sometimes so, you want to go somewhere and you don't want to deal with a you don't want to deal with a customer. Exactly. To, like I, I think about the amount. Like at one point, I was like a stripper taxi cab service. And yeah. And I think about all of the girls that would just be like, if there was a car that could bring them from the club to their house where they didn't have to interact with no driver, they yeah. would totally do that shit. Yeah, you just sit in that motherfucker and go home. See? Mm -hmm. That's where you need a Monte Cab. Here's what the fuck Waymo did. Check this video out. Somebody took. The Waymo is stuck because the Waymo is trying to go behind the Amazon, but then it's stuck behind the Waymo, and oh my God, there's another Waymo. What's everybody going to do? What? It is a Waymo standoff. What is going to happen? What's happening, folks? What's happening? <laughs> Who's gonna win? Nobody. I we all walk lose. away now. Yeah. Amazon <laughs> and Waymo. <laughs> <laughs> Who's winning? <laughs> and they just don't move. No actions being taken. There's four of them stuck. And there's two others. <laughs> <laughs> They're not doing anything. <laughs> Except. I like that somebody got mad at her. The Waymo is. There you go. There you go. Trash, right? Like, it's, again, it costs twice as much as a regular Uber or Lyft, and then it takes half as long. I mean, it take I me. Mean, it, it takes. It costs twice as much to to take one of those cars, and you get to your destination. And it takes twice as long to get to your destination. Like, there's no reason. Ugh. Yeah. Well, that's oh, that's another reason it takes twice as long because they see their friends and they just sort of sit and look at each other. Mm, okay. Like, oh, look at that beautiful Waymo. Y'all see that? No, well, Look, listen, I, I am ready to... Okay, so here we go. So here's, here's my fair, fair file, file question. question for this. Is it fair or foul to say that these self-driving cars are not way more convenient? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. Monty, everybody in the chat, let us know what you think. Is it fair or foul to say these self-driving cars are not way more convenient? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I think it's fair to say. And, yeah. and look, look, while, while people... While people figure out their answer, what I did was my take on this situation. Like, watch this video while you while, while people put their answers in. Then we'll discuss some more. This is okay. what I saw when I saw this standoff. Check it out. Identify yourselves. You will identify first. <laughs> Take your identity. You will identify first. Identify. It's like Stephen Hawkins meets the speaking clock. You know what, Zoe? Cue the round of applause for that. Okay, that's that's good stuff. That is good stuff. That's good stuff. Okay, this, this, the Doctor Who nerd in me thoroughly appreciates that. Man, you know, I literally got right up to the season with uh, uh, Jody Whittaker as the as the Doctor. I watched half of that. No, I watched the first season with her, and then haven't watched anything since then. Ah. Uh -huh. 
it's it's worth a watch. It's worth a watch. No, I, I I know. I need to get to it. I'm I'm <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to get to it. I'm I'm absolutely going to get. To it. You know what it is? It's just I feel like there's a lot of Doctor Who, and and I don't I never know how far back I want to go to get back into the, yeah the loop of things. Yeah, like I know I want to watch the whole uh, uh, Peter Capaldi Billy season one more time. Yeah, that was good shit. Yeah, that, I thought that was a good scene. I loved her as a doctor's as a doctor's uh, 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 associate. I was oh, yeah. gonna say apprentice, but I was like, that's not right. Yeah. Uh, uh, but his traveling companion. companion. Yeah. 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 And, uh, uh, and, yeah. She yeah. had and one, of the she one season. of the saddest of all the companions because you're, you're like, well, fuck the way they played it. Uh huh. Where you realize what's happening and it's like, uh huh. Oh shit! There's nothing he can do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. well, sorry. Dude, I'm curious, right now without thinking, you got a favorite Doctor Who episode? Uh favorite oh, uh yes. Uh Matt Smith second episode with Pond. Uh the spaceship. The the whale. Okay. Really? Why I that one? Love that episode. It's so so good at exploring what humans are and what the doctor's all about. In one episode, they tell you who the human race is and who the doctor is and why he does what he does. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's all there I, in one episode. You, you know what? Just, just because you referenced it, I will go watch. I'm going to rewatch that episode after the show tonight. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's probably my favorite Doctor Who episode. It's, it's, it's all there. Every element of Doctor Who is in that episode. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, right. and and it's your first time. Like, also, I've never seen a doctor go from episode one to his first episode as himself, just owning the role. Yeah, it usually takes a while for him to kind of get into a groove. Yeah, um, Matt Matt Smith. Uh, uh, I, I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna say. I don't think Matt Smith was the best doctor, but I think of all the doctors, I feel like. He had the like he had everything right for him. They, they had the best writing for his yeah. episodes. I think uh, 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 Amy and Rory as companions, plus the whole overlapping story with uh, uh, um, River Song. Yeah, like all of that shit. Like it was just the writing was good, the acting was good, the crossovers, the references, everything about it just came together great um, for his season. So I think like if somebody had to start watching Doctor Who. The Matt Smith seasons. You could literally start at the the first M- Amy Pond episode and just yeah. go from there. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's a perfect jump on point. Like, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Probably one of the only doctors that knew who he was from day one. Yeah, but like the episode I used to 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 sell people on Doctor Who. Yeah. Blink. Oh, that's a great episode for that. Yeah, yeah. Not not only is it great, but it is the highest rated episode. Yeah. On IMDb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I ain't mad at that at all. It is the consensus pick. Great Doctor Who episode. Yeah, it's super. Not that you asked, but you know what the best episode is of uh, uh, the the highest rated episode of IMDb is of X Men ninety seven. Which one? Genosha. Uh, Gambit dying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh No, that episode before Gambit died. That episode was balls to the wall nuts. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah. Hey, Hey, man, watch. Oh well, I think we're deep enough in the show. You can curse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, once you get balls deep, you can do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Like the show's already screaming our name right now. We we we're free to do what we want. Yeah. Ooh, hypothesis. Mommy, mommy. That's Are you a good my one mommy? Too. Mommy. Yeah. The order. <laughs> yeah. Listen. You know what? Put put an asterisk. Like some like somebody write this down. We might need to do top five Doctor Who episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Hannibal Hannibal Monty and like two other Whovians. Need to do uh, best of. Uh... Ooh, I wonder if I can grab some Hoovians. Ooh, Token Black Man, show. I still don't want to believe Remy died. Ooh, see, yeah. yeah, see that that's how you know that episode of uh, uh, of, of X Men ninety seven. That shit really hit, and and you know, and it's the X Men. Of course, he's not died, dead. Yeah, yeah, absolutely for sure. Yeah, he's definitely Apocalypse is going to definitely bring his ass back. And not that I got a chance to answer the question, but is it fair for all to say it was way more? Did these cars are way more convenient? No, it's definitely fair to say it's not way more convenient. They're just yeah. taking human jobs. Yeah, taking human jobs and clogging up traffic. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Oh, Crybaby4321 asked if we were talking about the new series. Sadly, no, we are not. Not yet. I, Machi's not seen yet. it. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. No, no. I've I'm, been watching, I'm enjoying um, it. I think, yeah, we haven't come back from the first break, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to spoil what, it. What, 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 like, so I know you caught up on Doctor Who. What else are you? You said you just finished watching the 100. What else are you watching right now? Um, I just started Agatha all along. Today. Motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, when you finish, call my phone, okay? Oh, call I will. me when you finish Agatha. Yeah, as soon as I finish, I will call you. But I okay. just started that. Just press play on episode one today. Um, Ooh, that is a... a, a... Yeah. Yeah. And, and <laughs> I started... Uh, I watched Supercell. Okay. Yeah, Supercell, you, you said you I liked the that. show, but you hated the ending? Or you hated the show, but you liked the ending? I, I didn't like that it was such an obvious hero's ripoff. Mm-hmm. Like, so obvious. Like, I liked the idea. I liked how they were playing the powers. Like, at first, when I saw the trailers for it and everything, I'm like, we're going to tie a superpower to Sickle Cell. This is stupid. But I, I, I like what they did. I like how they worked it. Mm-hmm. Good way to work it. But then it was a ripoff of Heroes, and it didn't feel fresh enough for me. I want it to be better. Like, the idea was fresh mm-hmm. when I saw how they fleshed it out. That was the freshest part of the whole thing. No, the first season of Heroes is superior to the first season of Supercell. It's yeah. not even... That's, that's, yeah, that's Supercell just but took like, the same idea the, and went with it. But the second season of Heroes is not better than the first season of Supercell. No, no, it is not. It is not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hero, like matter of fact, the, the 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 way heroes went from hero season one to hero season two through five is is pretty much how Game of Thrones fans feel about the last season of Game of Thrones. It was like, man, you just just drove off the cliff. You just went straight Thelma and Louise with this shit. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's fucking crazy. But yeah. but yeah yeah, that's my most recent stuff. Like the the one hundred took forever. Like that was, mm-hmm. and w- look, look, I, I I won't recommend it, but if if you do want to try it, be prepared for a ride that starts, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Every season is a different fucking show. That's my biggest problem with it. Every Wait, season, show, the one hundred. Oh yeah, I I I I tried. I started watching the one hundred once, and I abandoned ship real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's some really great ideas in it. But it hurts your brain trying to figure out, well, what's this about? This is like I'm watching season one of something again every season. See, it it, it it shows like that make me really just like, like I, know, I feel like in order to appreciate them, I need to get high first. I need to go smoke a joint and then use that to like like be in that mind state to then watch the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like that's what I need. It's like those are show, shows that I need to be able to – I need to be high to watch him first. I didn't yeah. need to be high to watch Agatha all along, though, but I definitely need to be high to watch uh, uh, The 100. Yeah, yeah. Agatha all along so far is great. Oh, no. Ag- no, Agatha is great. It's not so far. Like, that show is great. Like, like the, It keeps the, that the, same the, pace? Yeah, yeah. No, it, 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 it keeps. I'm, I'm very curious to see what you think about how the story resolves and, and what you think about that. I'm yeah. curious to see... But yeah, like, I've got series right it's, now. It's a short watch, so you should be yeah. done in a couple days. Yeah, no, I'll be done tomorrow. Like I'm gonna finish it tomorrow. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween and collard greens.